Good morning, everyone. Well, here we are. Um, I just seen my rank, and we're gonna take a look at it again together. So we got two hours to go in the Golden Heart Necklace competition. And I'm rank 11. That's actually quite a surprise to me because I thought I'd end somewhere around 15-ish, maybe. Maybe I wasn't optimistic enough, but I'm really close to top 10. Now, I'm not going to get top 10, unfortunately. Um, I'm really close, but I'm not that close to where I can take it in the last two hours. But if I were to have made some more adjustments to my build, I might have been able to get it. Then again, two hours ago, probably somebody is in uh, offline still. Right. They got two hours to log in. It could happen. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. 305 golden heart necklaces per hour, which is what I was doing when I finished the build, which is much better than uh, I originally expected it to do. I was originally aiming for like 275 ish per hour. And uh, while I was streaming, I accidentally figured out that the fix to my problem was rotating this facing this and I did this completely by accident because um I just originally I had it rotated like that and I just left it like that yeah that that was apparently the fix at least one of the fixes that's where we're at right now hopefully everyone's doing well Martin see you here hello hello la 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 <laughs> salad hello Tabuka. hey uh Rank 11? Um, yeah, Martin says rank 11. Trying to be surprised. Not good as it's seen you. Me 354, so if I stay in 400, I'm good. Yeah, top 400. Nice. Um, you're not surprised? I'm surprised. Um, I don't think I do that well. I know I got really good jewelry, NFTs, and all that. But... Ooh, I feel like I don't practice enough to be top 10. It's happened before. I've gotten top 10 in two competitions, and I believe one of them was jewelry. Can't say I remember exactly which one, to be honest. Maybe bracelets or earrings, but one of them I did get top 10. Yeah. It looks so close. So close. But it's all good. Even... I'm ha happy with top 25. Honestly, the difference between top 25 and top 10, well, I like at least 10th or 9th place, isn't even that much. Like when you think about it. And, um, like I think I could pull it up before the town hall starts. Because, uh, I am going to listen into the town hall. Hey now, nice to see you here. Good morning. I should have this pulled up already. Yeah, so that's the Town Star playbook. Uh, competition stuff. Yeah, these charts show the current price of Gala and the competition price structure. Not the official one. This one's based off the official one in case you've never seen this before. So top 1200, we are getting the Hasty Steel Miller blueprint makes the steel mill workers move faster uh look top 25 is 11,000 gala top 10 or like 10th place is 12,000 it's only a thousand gala difference it's it's really not even that big of a difference um well when you look at like top five that's that's a big difference that's something else but t top 25 to 10th place isn't that much of a difference and i also got that's the town hall. I'll make that screen smaller. Okay, I can't move stuff. It starts when two minutes. Oh wait, two minutes. Oh, I know the reason. I forgot. Well, I, I didn't even end up putting the dub trophy here. <laughs> That's why I'm 11th place and not 10th. Storm Games, hello. Hey, ZG. Hey. Uh, B-Rob, what's up? 186th. There's still slight hope for top 225. 
you're at 186? Yeah, I would say there's hope. I, I think you're good. Thank you, Storm Games. The design worked very well. Yeah. So I'm happy with how this came out. Obviously, the, the having the three pot of golds in use here helped out a lot. Let me get by with less jewelry crafting tables. Kind of hard to improve this further, though. I, I didn't even think I could go past 300. It's it's because of the silver. I'd have to do some funny stuff with the warehouses pointed to these uh, forges in order to potentially raise my silver production rates. Uh, how I have it right here, because um, I would have needed if I would have wanted to make a bunch more silver, I would have needed another artisan guild. And maybe more green forges, right? If I had more green forges, a lot more would be possible. Yeah, look at I'm at three billion cash. Just from selling all the necklaces. Salad says these hasty series cards are not that appealing. I like their crafting speed much more. Yeah, the crafting speed reduction cards were well, they are way better. That's true. What I'm hoping for for the uh, glass factory. Uh, one that reduces the crowd time of stuff in the glass factory. Looks like it should be starting up pretty soon here. It is. They're, they're probably going to play the trailer as always. Just a heads up. Start, in, in case you start hearing some yahooing. Nice placement. Highest rank I got was the eighth place. Hard, but honest work. But in common ground world, we farm for a greater cause. Yeah, eighth place Saving I think was the highest. One soil patch at a time. Second highest might have been ninth. Ninth place. friendly town, leveraging regenerative agriculture and recover valuable Hi, soil. Hi, Hello, Michael M. Happy Friday. Compete in weekly competitions to earn great prizes. Get rewarded for helping to support our ecosystem and your fellow farmers. Eager to what? learn more? Well, head on over to Gala Games and start playing now. Who's ready for bicycles? And two mountains across from each other. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. How's it going? How are y'all? Good. Happy Friday. Good Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Happy Friday. We got. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we got, <laughs> got the ninja surprise. Farmer Michelle, Riant, Wild got Bootsy, five people here. Volcron here. It's a big cool. game, right? right? There's five of us. That's good. Nice. That's yeah. amazing. Wonder where they're at well, with uh, guilds. Good morning to everybody. Quarter ends in a week. Evening, depending on where in the world you are. Should be interesting. Um, this is our March 22nd town hall. We've been doing this weekly for well over a year and a half. Um, since July 2022. So, yep. yeah, a few more months and we'll be at the two-year mark. Um, yeah, so yeah. remember to like and subscribe and um, share the video with people. If you have notifications turned oh, on. In somebody has Echo. Then uh, you won't have to ask in Discord. Hey, Rachel, you know, hello. Because you'll get pinged about that. So be sure to do that. Let's see. Who do we have in our Discord this morning? Martin, Lazy Lumberjack, Edie Lugs, Spartans, Red Fox. There's an echo. I don't think it's from my side, though. Dubstep. I do hear the echo, though. Uh. I don't see any Dash Riprock this morning. Lexel, Postman. I'm sure he'll make his presence known at some point. Where's <laughs> Dash when you need him? Got some gym players, BTB. Oh, he's there. He's typing. Oh, I'm here. Nice. He's there. Dub. All right, guys. Um, well, good morning. So, Farmer Michelle. Hey, hold on. Do you, he's uh, there. Because he's there somewhere. A, a town hall and we ask questions and all that good stuff. Do you happen to know how people could ask those questions? Is there a link that they could? There is. There it is right in the chat right there. The echo is not on my side, guys. 
Anytime you've it's got a question, just drop it in there. It's in the announcements every week. It's usually in Leaky Wednesday posts. It might just be Volcron. Okay. Yeah, Volcron has the echo. Um, well, let's jump you can barely hear the town hall. Headlines. Go ready. I'm ready. Is All that right. on my side? I could raise the volume. Okay, first, we have um, two weeks. I'm delaying the guilds feature by two weeks. Um, we're uh -oh. doing our integration testing on that. Two week delay. And there's a couple things that. You know, some of us weren't good? super happy with. Um, Wonder if that things. Um, I usually don't mess with the volume. And it's a little disappointing to hear, but you know, we want to make sure that this goes out with as few bugs and as pretty looking as possible. So that's a, a little bit of bad that should news. be I'll louder. Some more detail that help? on the features coming up uh, later in our game updates section. Um, so how about the rewards, Farmer Michelle? Uh, yes, yeah, some rewards went out this week for last week's event. Uh, they went out, I think, a couple of days ago. Now I lose track. This week's been going by so fast, I cannot even believe that it's Friday already. Mm -hmm. But those are all sent out. Uh, I think some Zealy rewards went out this week too, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't Ooh. been keeping good track of the Zealy rewards. Cool. No, I, I, okay. well, I keep that, forgetting to check yeah. Mr. Ninja Surprise. Uh, yeah, it's just been business as usual with uh, social media. Oh, it did help? Um, okay. I do know nice. that this week was actually GDC, so I was really busy with a lot of stuff for Gala and the Gala Hackathon that was going up. Um, so just like a little bit of like a cross um, promotion here, but uh, there was a lot Sweet. of cool stuff that was going on with that um, at GDC, and Gala was really making waves there. Um, <clears throat> so um, I I'm actually going to be looking into making some more campaigns that are similar to the naming the uh the great pyrenees uh nft that we did prior um i'm going to see if there's like you know some other um ideas if you guys have any ideas that you want to throw by me just feel free to do so um but yeah that's uh pretty much ideas for, for nft hope to you know have more fun and exciting stuff to push out on social soon hmm awesome well, at least you didn't spill Red Bull on your keyboard like uh, Farmer Michelle. So. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff there. It was the cats. It's always the cat's fault. You know, it really is. <laughs> Red cat. Um, well, that's exciting. So let's see. Social media. All right. If you have a cat, you can uh, always Farmer blame Michelle, it on the cat. Any warnings sure. or anything for our players? Yeah, as always, be careful from scammers. Uh, they're definitely out there. Uh, probably more this week than normal since we had the hackathon and all that this week. So definitely, uh, if anyone ever sends you a DM and says that if they work for Gala Games, they don't because we would never send you a DM. Mm. Don't ever give anybody your seed phrase or your, your password for any of your accounts. Make sure you're clicking on the proper links if you're clicking on any links. Don't just like Google Gala Games and click on the first advertisement link you see because it could be a scam. Just make sure you verify exactly what you're doing before you try to log in anywhere. Don't trust anybody in DMs. That's right. Be careful. Eternally good advice. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. Well, uh, you want to move on to game updates? Let's do it. All right. I'll start uh, just by making a comment about fixes. What I used to do is I would provide you guys the list every week verbally of all the fixes. But every now and then, because uh, I was going off of our GitLab, um, you know, the fixes that got merged in, every now and then, old Volcron would make a mistake. So what I'm doing now, <laughs> you should I'm post saying, them on the chat. Wait till we do our release notes. You'll see the fixes and stuff in there. Or that, yeah. Uh, um, when Farmer so Michelle releases a change log. I, I just I don't want to cause any confusion. Um, as for features, I'm pretty excited about our daily challenges coming up. I know people have been wanting that feature forever. It's relatively straightforward. Just a couple UI elements, a back-end job, um, and then, of course, all the controls that we're putting in for... I would imagine. Uh, we have a pretty sophisticated you know, data system here. So the controls for how many town points each of those earning NFTs earns and all that. So that's looking good. A lot of that is coming together and our plans are pretty solid there. And looks like that will go off without any surprises when we started in mid-April. Mid-April, um, so okay. Challenges. Um, there that's is good. gonna be actually- Daily challenges um, set to return mid-April. Did you wanna talk about the UI really good. element, like what it'll Not be like, like June or July challenge or things like well, that. I mean, uh, yeah, we can kinda from, I'm happy to hear it. So, I'll be yeah, even happier so to see it in the game. These, uh, daily challenges, you know, every 24 hours on the, on the day, we're going to have them uh, appear in the events tab. So 
Uh, you just click there, you join the game, you'll have a, a fresh new map, and then you just have to complete all these objectives that will set differently per day. Nice. And is this on a new tab? From the challenges page, right? Same place that you would find our weekly challenges that will have the daily yeah. ones in there? From there, yep. That'll be neat. So when we go to play, we're going to start with a fresh town every time. Oh, that okay. Yeah, That's so what I, I was about to ask. Starting on the same foot, right? Like, I think we there was talks about like it being playable from like the casual mode or the common ground mode, but right. it was really messy on how like, you know, you could already have your town all set up, right? Okay, yeah. they're completely changing this up. Okay. This is new. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's Dubstep fine. Rod has a question about it. Will they be on a new town every day? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Um, Daily challenges so I, will be a new town every we single day. Variations, but yeah, yeah. yeah. The idea is it's going to be kind of different towns. Like we're going to have to start making like. And I'm fine maybe, with like, that, but pal, it, uh, I don't think that's what but, people you know, expected. But at least per day. we can work with that. Yeah, yeah. That way, uh, like Wild Moopsy was saying, like you don't have a town that's right because you know, all the turning out, you know, hundreds of ninety-five uh, percent of the player base would have done that, if not ninety-nine percent. So the, the daily challenge is actually a challenge not a, a daily click me there you go so yeah i'm excited about that well on to guilds um a lot of the guild stuff is ui driven i like it too um, yeah for our testing we're using one of the cabernet stands uh as our node nft people were wondering like well when you know i have a node license when am i when's that getting converted to node nfts that team was testing it over the weekend and through the week um i think a couple of those guys might be at the gdc i'm not sure but Looks like it's going well. Um, like us, they're just being really careful about it. They've got all sorts of unit tests and locks, and you know that's something you only do once, so you want to get it right the first time. Um, so for testing, what we've been doing is just in our data config defining like, oh well, if you own this other NFT, then you can create a guild, and then through the UI, you step through, you create the guild, um, you know, do the player search, add your guild definition, pick your icon, all that fun stuff. So it's going okay. Um, the delay comes from I'm just, you know, so I'm the engineering lead. And as I look at, you know, the probability of there being bugs as the front end and back end kind of come together for the first time on some of these things, I'm like, oh, this is likely to have bugs. We should give ourselves some breathing room. So that's a call that I made uh, through Tomatoes if you want. I just wanted to go, um, you know, go out without any bugs that we can help. So I think, I think most people will appreciate that. Um, anti-cheating, you stinkers. Uh, <laughs> oh God, that's always an arms race. So we're we know some of you are uh, not eh, whatever. So yeah, every week. <laughs> What's he trying to say? To say some of you guys, some uh, people, people cheating. We pull off of the leaderboard. People that we don't give rewards to because mm. we caught you doing something naughty. Um, it's a big priority for us. Farmer Michelle, Wild Moopsy, Riant, Ninja Surprise, me. Um, you know, Musashi, Mark, everybody. This is always a controversial, controversial topic. And even James. So every week we're putting work into anti-cheating reports and um, fixing any big exploits that come out. So don't like, want to. We talk about the cheaters. Speculation on that. I'll just taking that our prizes. And when there's big deals. We well, from the know. legit players. Let's see. Uh, Q and oh no, poison! <laughs> throwing tomatoes. Okay. As long well, as he's not throwing tomatoes at us. That's all I think. <laughs> I don't really like tomatoes very much. Yeah. Um, LV Postman, why don't I move up when you pull cheaters? Well, we don't we don't hmm. nuke their ranking there, so I can fill you in on, or maybe Farmer. Ooh, Michelle what does that mean? On what we do, but in general, it's a it's a post competition thing that we do there. So Q and A. So do people not get moved uh, up? Starting off with then what would they be? Driven one that would kind of screw Michelle. people over still. Can we remove black smoke from? Yeah, properties? that's Please. that's not good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw this question, and I have seen some screenshots of some people's towns lately with lots of foundries all in the same area, and it is hard to see through them when you've got all that black smoke. So we'll definitely chat with the art team, see if Mostly we can make the... it maybe a little bit more transparent or a little bit less. People with silica sands. You know, we'll definitely check Mostly. with the art team and see what they can do to make that right. better. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm that's sure they'll come up with something is. awesome. Um, next one's for Wild Moopsy. Zoom in here. Is casual play common world for daily? What? 
Uh, could you give us some more info about how the daily rewards will happen? Um, that maybe you didn't right, so, share already. Yeah, so the daily rewards um, will have like different objectives they have to complete uh, in that 24-hour cycle that day. Uh, then you guys will place earner NFTs, and then when you hit claim, uh, that's how you're going to get your rewards based on how much uh, earner NFTs you place down. Okay. Hmm. All righty. I think there's a huge calculation type thing, but I think when, when we get closer to releasing it, we, I can kind of go further to detail how that works. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about that either. Okay, next one is for... Engineering. I can ask it. Oh, 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 okay. The question says, is there any progress on making units click through so we can click on buildings properly? That would be nice for the foundries. They're kind of hard to click. You know, um, that ticket is not a great deal of work. It's probably two to four hours of work. Um, and we have a list Makes of it sound easy, things but... like that. And that one comes <laughs> they up They don't want to do week. it. And not yet. We just have to prioritize uh, our According to Volcron. And I know you guys hear me say that all the time, but we have to be laser focused on these things, guilds, you know, daily challenges, and then NFT upgrades. So short answer is, you know, it's in the backlog, guys. I want to get to it as much as you do. I think it's one of those things called, uh, was that feature creep? You could continue to improve and, and update and add features, you know, constantly. But if you don't focus on those main things that you know you need to get done, they may keep getting pushed back. So we're focusing on those main things that we know we need to get done before we work on other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. For example, we wanted to show off some of the capabilities of the engine. So somebody was like, like, oh, well, let's add a day I don't cycle. know how they operate and stuff, but like, if it was me, I would hire like another dev or engineer to work on that stuff. And one know, more person, get more work done. That could but, into, oh, okay, I mean, I don't work for the company. Control so that's just my user account what I think would be better. Towns and, mm -hmm. you know, so it, yeah, it's yeah. an easy fix, but they're working on something uh, else. Just get another person to work on those easy fixes, right? So that we can quickly build and test layouts. It would be a great marketing tool as well to showcase yeah, the value. Sandbox server is great. NFTs it gets, available. It's been asked before. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a great, great idea. I think the team agrees that that's also a great idea. Again, we do have to fulfill some older promises first. Uh, the only thing about that is that we might like delay new NFTs for a couple weeks after the sale's been live for a bit before they show up in there for anybody to test out. But uh, in general, we definitely would like to have that as an option so that you can go in there maybe with no money and play around with nfts that are available so you can see how they work and what they do because i mean that is definitely something we would like to have mm -hmm. yeah and it would be fun to run it at a little bit faster speed as well yeah that would be cool <clears throat> let's see next one is they would say just see? just buy the tavern this is kind of long that's not a good can solution the NFT jewelry store not have priority over the in-game jewelry stores oh i remember people asking that too many items please Hmm. They're talking about the uh, yeah yeah the jewelry store uh, NFTs we got yeah, for I'll free. Look, it, and the NFT should have higher priority. So I'll take mm -hmm. a look, Let's see what's happening over there. Um, let's see. There was another one. More priority questions. And can the cause important for us? Stored in the warehouse. Please hold for six months that's more. By pottery. Oh, that's interesting. I'll take a look at that as well. Okay. Actually, no, we have a jewelry store. That's why, that's why we did it that way. Yeah, it's stored in the jewelry store. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I think they're talking um, about the heart shape. Next print. one is for engineering. Thanks. Do you want to go for that one, Armor Michelle? Yeah, I can read it. Let's okay. see here. It says, it seems that there were many top teams that illegally obtain points by transferring NFTs in town during offline world or by moving them to sub accounts, etc. Do you have any plan to make such cheating impossible in right. the game system? Mm, impossible. Well, um, although I yeah, heard people are getting suspended race, for definitely this. Definitely in the new system, NFT ownership history, current owner, how long have you owned it? Um, those are absolutely necessary um, for your daily challenges. You know, we don't want one person, you know, with a, a high point value NFT using it, clicking claim challenge, send it to their friend, they click claim challenge and so on. Um, so yeah, absolutely. It's easy to do that. Just have 
yeah. oh one week delay before one you can earn with the daily nft challenge that for one town that i mean it used to be at one day be delay to be used in um, that same system is of ownership tracking uh, is necessary you know for fast forward if somehow you logged out and then that nft was uh, appeared in somebody else's town before you logged back in mm -hmm. that your town is no longer eligible to use that nft for your fast forward period um, that's a work in progress, but it's super important. Okay. And so they're aware of some people uh, be abusing for that. NFT upgrades as well, right? So um, NFT upgrades is third quarter this year, but daily challenges is where you'll see that uh, ownership tracking come out. That's something we work with the back end guys on um, every day. So let's see. Awesome. Let me read that next one for you. All righty. It says on the last day, oh, is that the one? Yes, on the last day of the tournament, just before the end of the tournament, the ranking dropped by about 200 places. Does FPS have anything to do with fast refreshed. forward calculations? I feel like I'm oh. making a difference with people who are online all day. Could you please investigate this? Oh, okay. Your your machine's FPS does not. The In Play Canvas, it did, if you remember, right? It the did. The slower machine well, got you lower FPS. I mean, it still feels like it does. Characters, oh, no. which was unfortunate. Um, that was one of the one of the main reasons that we rewrote the game to be server authoritative, um, also to control cheating better. So FPS, um, short answer is no. Uh, it's all server driven. So whatever you see on your screen does not affect your ranking. Um, if the question was about fast forward, hmm. you know, the reason that fast forward uh, takes a little bit of time is we increased the precision with which it fast forwards. You can go super super quick and resolve the town in a couple seconds, but it won't be as accurate as if you fast forward in a very precise mode. So if that's what you're asking, um, fast forward from what we've seen is equivalent to being online and play. Let's see. Do, do, do. Next one's about prohibiting. Oh yeah, more questions for you. It says, can you prohibit the transfer of NFTs uh, including purchases from the marketplace other than new purchases from the official shop during the tournament period. They could oh, doing okay. a lock, well, lockdown I mean, it's your property, of the right? NFT. So we, we're not going to prohibit any, and we can't prohibit any But they sort could. Of transfer. Champions um, Arena and the Internal Paradox do this. The whole idea of this is your digital property. Um, but what we can do is keep track of who owned it when and not let you play an NFT that you borrowed from your friend. Um, in a you know same competition that he used it in, uh, daily challenge I mean, so yeah NFT ownership history tracking is going to be super important uh, to the point where you might even see on in in the UI we're talking about putting a little countdown timer that'll tell you yeah you own this NFT but the place button is is disabled for you know however right. long or something like that yeah kind of oh, Spider Tanks also does it daily challenges, okay right so you can't just place your earning FTs and then loan it to the next guy and have him use it. Yeah. We're going to have that cooldown. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just like we used to have on the old version of the game, it was like a 24-hour cooldown. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, yeah. It, just, it felt intuitive to me when I put that in. Yeah, after... Um, yeah, yeah, it really is. Right? Not having that caused a lot There's of issues. Oh, let me read that one, too. Let me switch back over. It rounding. says, will the current effects rounding be fixed? For context, currently effects are rounded to the closest even number. So 0 0.5 becomes 0, 1.5, and 2.5 becomes 2, right. 3.5, and 4.5 becomes 4. I feel like they'll oh. fix this, and it'll screw some okay. people over. <laughs> well, um, sounds like a bug. So that's something we'll have to look at. <laughs> yeah. I know we've it's a bug. had many Rip. discussions about the rounding, especially on the, the effects. People are taking advantage and, of the rounding. Um, Everybody was happy with our decision on how that went, but that was eight or so months ago. So yeah, let's revisit that. Let's look at it. Definitely. Although I, I wouldn't really call it cheating because uh, it's kind of like taking advantage of ghost stores back right. then. If you guys you remember ghost the stores. Name back to Town Star. I changed the name back to Town Star. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree that with that one. You guys miss good old Town Star, uh, but we are committed with the Common Ground Films to promote the benefits of regenerative agriculture through gaming. So it's more than just a name, it's the vision we have for the game as well. So the content we deliver, it's related to promoting the and educating users about mm. 
regener regenerative agriculture. Let's make a film called Town Star. Yeah, that makes sense. About having the best town. Yeah, I do also miss the the name, guys. Uh, I mean, I'll do my best to call it uh, Common Ground right, World because that's what the game's actually. Q and A. Yeah, I think that was it for the pre-planned one. I did see one from Moyes asking uh, what we were going to do if somebody had more NFTs that earned than spots available on the town. Yeah, like 200 come, orbs uh, of daily hope. challenges time. Oh, that's a great question. For the yeah, 200 I, orb of hope. I have no idea how that would work, actually. How we would fairly account for that. What Do you, do you guys want to brainstorm it for a second or would just say we'll get back to you <laughs> we get back to you but yeah you know, you... Man, that's a lot of uh the earner nfts if that's the case but yeah i think we should kind of brainstorm it when we'll we'll think about it but uh, thanks for letting us know hmm. let's see uh vesh riprock Philippa, is there is a star booster in competition? There always is, or should be. An example? But this competition is golden heart uh, necklaces. I'm not, which, maybe he's talking about common ground world, or... I'm not sure. Uh, some questions he's talking about, about common ground world. Champions yeah. Arena and Eternal Paradox. They're saying, like, hey, you could lock it into the game. That was uh, something yeah, I said. I mean, we could. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you have to enter your... Uh, transfer code, and then also enter your, um, you know, if you have two factor auth set up, enter yeah, your, you would have to do that. There. Yes, I, I don't know. I mean, we we can talk about that at a. I understand level, it's like a nuisance, NFTs, but it just seems like for people that have dozens or hundreds of NFTs that they actually use in the game, clicking through and locking all these and what it just. You only have to do that it's once. I think he misunderstands. It's heart pumping game playing action that I crave for sure. So I don't know about the rest of you guys, but clicking on pop ups and entering things for an hour doesn't. I don't know. I I would rather approach it in a way that doesn't require any extra work for our players. Uh, let's see. I understand, oh, but also. He's asking about how's the... I don't think he completely understands uh, how the lock yeah, system works on those the... games. Um, it's not that much of a nuisance. Collaboration or whatever we want to call it with the common drone film doing. Where could he see an example? Well, B-Rob, there's some people out there that want to place on their 1,000 or both. I think we're talking to them get currently. 5, time points. Yes, yeah, it's under conversations. Okay. Yeah, you would place on the highest point ones, but... Alrighty. I, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if there's somebody out there with just orbs of hope because they were so cheap. Uh, will the daily challenge be reached automatically? Or, or they were button? cheap at the time. For I don't know about reasons, now. You will have to click claim challenge in the game or whatever the wording on the button okay, says. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you got to click claim challenge that's not something that we want for claim reward allowed for the daily challenges. Or we, and we don't want it to occur during fast forward or any of that. You have to load the game, pull up the modal, click the button. Yeah, then once you click the button, you'll be eligible for the rewards. And you have to complete the objectives we set, of course. See, I've seen another question a little bit ago from, looks like, uh, Jasher. It says, in the NFT inventory in-game, can you put back the town points banner on those NFTs that have town points, including the number of town points? It was there in Play Canvas, and with earnings returning, it'd be nice to see which ones earn. Yeah, I can answer this one. Yep. For sure, we're going to add that back when daily challenges, when we get closer to that. I already have the task to uh, to do that. Zynga saying earnings are coming back. Yep, we are bringing them back. Uh, Nacho G again. So this means I can remove all the buildings and place my Vox and click for it. Once the challenge is released. That's another thing, uh, Vox. Yeah, tricky question, right? Because, you know, we don't have all the Vox in the game. Yeah, they so don't have all the Vox in the game. They said this earlier. Account for any NFT any that has earning uh, points associated with it um, is something that, obviously, you need oh, to... Oh, Dilepa, are you talking about account, the corrupted so. portal? Is that what you're talking about? Like, to spend cash on stars? Uh, that's not a thing anymore. I, I don't know if that's what you were referring to. People are um, 
wondering when I say next quarter, I say we're beginning development on the daily challenges here in, you know. Hello, Rabello. Thank you so much for subscribing. They begin development on daily challenges in about three weeks. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what happens? Order two. Our Texas. What happens if you reload in the middle of a long fast forward? Does it start over or do you lose progress? You don't lose progress. Next time you connect, um, you will, the fast forward will begin again. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. And you are accredited for the time spent fast forwarding. So if, you know, your fast forward event is going to take 10 minutes for the servers to do all that calculation and you are offline for four hours, then your town will run in the fast forward land for four hours and 10 minutes. Do earning NFTs still have to be on Gala Chain? That's for Reant, right? Yeah. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> earning NFTs uh, for the daily challenges. Do those earning NFTs have to be on Gala Chain? Uh, that's a great question. So far, I would say not necessarily, but that could change once we release the feature. So I, I can't really give a an exact answer right now. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Hey, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. <laughs> To make that that, it's showing zero likes. I don't uh, know if that's true. Non sequitur as possible. Yeah, there's um, just as a quick reminder, if you're on YouTube, uh, click like, turn on notifications, and you'll get notified when we start this. Oh, well, shout out to Brazil. Lazy Lumberjack. Welcome do you to the stream. That the NFTs have to be on Gala Chain. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, they got rid of the corrupted portal. Yeah, it's it's pros Question and it's cons. Potato. I wasn't Will a big fan of it. Earning NFTs in the future, Riant. That's a good question. I think uh, we at some point said that we wouldn't make more earning NFTs. Uh, I think I can't give a definitive answer now. Uh, yeah, they're not sure because they probably those want conversations to, are sucks. happening though. We did just talk about it yesterday, actually. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay. I'm sure they really want to, but that would piss people off. All right. I think that's, I don't see a ton of questions coming in. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, feature request. Can we have seasonal and or weather mods, you know, that would have an effect on production? That would be amazing. Um, especially if it was in competitions, we want the playing ground to be fair for everybody. Right. Um, especially if the weather was predictable and the same for everybody. The uh, so NFTs rage for into the competition. They said we could use it on Ethereum, or there will be a but not light for things like that. Daily challenges. I know that um, Mark. The only had thing some I remember on that, you know, we don't want the game to be hostile. Uh, we don't want combat. We don't want ruined crops. Things like that. So yeah, we, I remember him saying that. that uh, feature pretty carefully. No yeah, PVP in this game. At least like uh, climate stuff. So you know, it's like maybe during winter time, it's you know everything is snowing. We'll have like a snow map, you know, with different properties, maybe mm -hmm. cold, you know, and then, you know, you can build off of that. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, more questions about having the um, NFTs on Gala Chain. Uh, we do recognize that it's expensive to move things around, you know, with gas fees, not on Gala Chain, that's free, but, you know, for, between chains and currently as anybody you know who's actually oh, playing yeah this, it is expensive that, you know if you own an nft on ethereum network or you own it on gala chain both of those show up in your in-game inventory um from an engineering perspective right. we don't have any plans to limit or change that okay yeah be so you'll still be able or other reason that we do so okay uh, right now if we make no changes, then the NFTs that you use from Ethereum 
will continue to be available in your game. Right, the current NFTs on Ethereum should be available. All right. That means uh, the new NFTs, if you were to bridge them to Ethereum, they might not be available in the game, especially if they're right. upgradable. Well, That's probably guys, on to leaks? what they're trying to say. Uh, hey now right. says, haven't they told us they would never right. make yeah, Town Point NFTs good. again? Yes, they have. For competition. They, they have, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so the next competition is bicycles, which I think everybody should know by now since it was yep. in Leaky bicycles. Wednesday. Uh, there's no craft recipe change or anything. It's good old bicycles like they usually are. Yeah. Though I think last time we did a bicycle meta, it did require like less. I think steel required or blue steel required less steel, but there are no changes to any craft recipes. It's all the standard recipes for everything. Uh, so yeah, so bicycles, uh, silica is going to be cash boosted at 5,000 instead of 1,000. It is a desert biome, so you've got plenty of opportunity to make a bunch of silica. Uh, the edges are going to be uh, I remember a that. river to the north, east and Silica west are both mountains. So you've got mountains on, on both sides, and then there's going to be a desert on the south again. The gas is just back to one gas. It's a 60-second trade time, 30-second if you've got an Express Depot NFT or an Express Peer NFT. Standard gala rewards for the top 1,200. There's no blueprint or anything this week. And that's about it. Everything else is returning to normal. Gold's back to not being cash boosted anymore. Right, but still a good option. Necklaces are back to their standard Although, star value. Silica might be easier, since it's since it'll be cash boosted. Uh, one blue steel, one mystic matter, two lights. By the way, for a bicycle, so you will need to make steel, uniforms, mystic matter, cool. and lights, which Maybe means chromium limestone. Um, you too. Is this game free to play? It is absolutely free to play. There you go. It is. Uh, it's free to play. <laughs> Try it out. I yeah. mean, you're not going to be top 100, uh, but that's you, not the question. If you haven't played it yet and you just happen to be listening, uh, welcome. You might want to give the... So when you're at the main menu, the leftmost game, the Common Ground World one, that one is uh, much more casual. Your workers have no wages, so they're going to keep working. You know, forever you don't and it's kind really of got a learn the competitive of, side of the game uh, regenerating or improving the soil the spoiled soil and um as you can see some of those tiles are really expensive so yeah with the biome silica probably is the middle one easier uh middle option better. there is your you know no stakes uh nothing to win just play around normal game and then the right under events you'll find all the cool <laughs> events that wild uh, martin they're said, answering some pretty um, good questions this time weekly competitions Let's see. All right. I mean, they're, they're never going to answer all of the questions. This week, but... There is, actually, it's coming up in a few hours, in about two hours and a half. It's coming the Electric Arc Furnace. The it's Electric Arc Furnace. NFT. Uh, it will cost $350 each one, and there are going to be 300 units uh, for sale. And it will be able to craft blue steel and red steel We'll Wait, be making one last steel back into the game and then water drum. Uh, later in April. So right now you will be able to craft blue blue steel so far with fewer mm -hmm. materials without the need of a water pump. Glad they're adding red steel back. It's good. Only four steel to make one unit of blue steel and half the energy required with no water. Pump oh, half required. the energy. Okay. Well, that sounds awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about the NFT later. Bicycle competition. <laughs> Already the blue steel memes coming. <laughs> uh, Rianne, have you seen Zoolander? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Banger movie. Well, that's very exciting. Okay. Um, here in a couple hours. All right, well... Interesting info on the sale. Do we have that in the bot already, Farmer Michelle? What? The uh, blue steel info. Oh, yeah. This electric arc furnace. The regular blue steel info, yes. There's no bot commands for NFTs. Oh, well, shows what I know. Oh, well. There is for the town store playbook. Okay. Well, that's not a bad idea, ones, though. It would take me a lot the of new time. Ones are missing. But that's not a bad idea. I need to revise those. What do you guys think out there? Would you like bot commands for NFTs? Hmm. Yeah, would you guys like that? I think we've got like hmm. hundreds of them, so it would 
definitely take me some time okay. to build. My bot does that. Um, it's kind of tricky though, because there's a lot of NFTs yeah, that are very um, similar. You got to type it exactly. I'm going to. I don't have the ability to share it on YouTube, but I'm Benji Farmer Michelle says Discord. that for everything. Okay, everything. Your town died. That sounds awesome. You got top 100. That sounds awesome. This and new NFT gives you one passive water. Store, so that sounds awesome. awesome. Yeah, the full announcement went out yesterday as well. Nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, that wraps up um, all of our planned info. You know, we did the sale, leaks, Q&A, game update, intro, everything. So you guys want to hang out for a minute and see if there's any more live questions? Yeah, you all have any other questions for us? Uh, maybe, but not that I can think of right now. I mean, they didn't answer my LB question. Postman, don't put Red before. Bull in your ears. That's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, when's Nobody asks about the Red right wind or the no. green forges. <laughs> I mean, you could try it, see what happens. No, I I'm that sure sounds like a very bad curious. idea. <laughs> You'd just be sticky. I'm supposed to give you wings. <laughs> Oh, uh, Martin, I did that too. When dog yeah, NFT? April. April. April is when the dog NFT Early comes out. April. Same yeah. thing with Bright Winds, I think. Anticipation. Um, Green Forges, I don't know. They were talking about it the other day. They were talking about the Green Forges, the ones they still have to sell. A yeah. um, couple comments about legal. Yeah, it's always slow because, you know, that's... The fourth the biome site, I think it's just a desert. Yeah, it's especially hard with an international company because there are so many different sets of legal to go through to make sure that's you know right good for everything and to get the terms and conditions proper for all the different places and that's a lot of work how about the bright wind sale when is that coming coming up in uh mid-april we'll let you know as well and green forages probably may could be or april, late april or may okay hmm. we will let, announce this with a lot of time to, for you to prepare Dr. Higgy hopes that Brightwind uh, goes for $1,000. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, he probably owns a lot. <laughs> Question about the Crystal Sanctum, maybe? It just says Crystal Sanctum 2. The second version. Uh, I do believe there's also Crystal Sanctums that did not get sold the first time around. Let me check the old announcement. Oh, that's what he meant. I'll find out. Okay, probably. Uh, I, oh, don't, a, I, uh, I don't remember. Game, good gameplay question. What do you think about this one, Moopsie? If you have they a said passive at some point. 2 .5 in the game, should that satisfy a passive requirement of 3? Uh, I don't know. I, we have to see how the code does it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I yeah, I feel like that... down, right? yeah. yeah, I feel like it has to do with the game rounding. Yeah. What would you prefer? I would say we round down. I would also say me. we round down, but it's then a good when question. you have question, hey, now we'll see if they answer you get it. Like six, or sorry, you get five. I mean, oops, my maths today. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, Hank Juniors, yeah. Who knows? I didn't know there was more Hank Juniors. Hmm. All right. Well, it seems like the question. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there is. I, I'm not completely sure. Satisfied at this point. So me all the bright ones on the download. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have that power. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for your attendance. And Briant, Ninja, Farmer Michelle, Wild Moopsie, thank you for being here. Thank you, Volcron. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Volcron. Thank you. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful As weekend. Always. You, too. you too. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Friday everybody. Happy Friday. And remember, happy if Friday. you're watching the stream, click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And with that, we are out. Okay. Cool. See ya. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Let me pause that. Uh, exit out of that and play that yeah 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 ask questions guys ask questions um daisy uh what was the third biome side
for the bicycle meta coming up, we're going to be getting a uh, desert. Two mountains across from each other. One of the sides will be a river. The other side, um, they didn't really specify, but um, I think it's an open world edge. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's an open world edge. I mean, it kind of has to be. They've never given us a biome with four closed off <laughs> biomes, <laughs> you know? Uh, we've never been forced to just use like waterways to sell. So it should be two mountains across from each other, a river on one of these sides, and the other side is an open edge. They they said it's a desert. Okay, Yoan, thank you. Um Oh he Daisy also asked, uh any details on how much daily earnings will generate? First of all, you should understand that according to the information we have right now, daily earnings will generate dirt. Dirt will eventually be converted to the new token that is going to be used as a utility for this game. So just to be very clear, the current expectation is, based off what they said, um, your, your town points will be converted to dirt. Your dirt will eventually be converted to the new token. It's not a one-to-one -one conversion. All the conversions depend on how many town points people get in the day, how many dirt is out there when it's time to uh, convert it to the new token. There's a lot of unknown variables that we don't know. The only variable like we can make sure of is the amount of town points specific NFTs will give out because those are supposed to be the same as what they always were. And I have this information on the Townstar playbook still. I'm going to pull it up again here somewhere. Yeah, if you go to the NFT objects tab, let me make this bigger also. I should have a scene set up for this. I always just move it. I always set it up on the fly. Um, I have a tab down here that says NFT objects. All the old reward NFTs are here. It's just missing uh, the some of the newer ones that I haven't put on here. And I have a column for town points. So like you see the crane bot says 100. That's how many town points it gives. Elf bot says 200. The trade bot is actually one that's not confirmed because they, they haven't confirmed if when the trade bot comes to the game, what the utility does, but also if it's going to give any town points or not. They, they just haven't confirmed that. But uh, all the new NFTs, they don't give any town points. So they'll say zero. Hopefully that answered that. Are they sure it will come out in April? They have said it for over a year. Maybe it's an April Fool's joke, Daisy. <laughs> so sweet, so I always prefer watch Town Hall here with Zup. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was asking that on the Discord. Um what should I should I keep streaming the last two hours of the competition that way we can watch the town hall together and immediately talk about everything is that a fine i i could do that yeah i i don't want to feel like i'm taking over just their stream like i i, I kind of want to say like a, a a reactor i guess but it's not really just reacting right well kind of it kind of is whatever as long as people are okay with it right Because originally when I uh, streamed the end of the competition, it's to hang out with you guys, share how I did, share how we all did, and talk about the new stuff coming up. And that would happen right after the town hall ended in the last hour of the competition. Uh, with uh, the daylight saving time, it changed the time that the competition ends. And the time that they always do the town hall remained the same. So it happened on the last hour of the competition. So that's that's why it doesn't happen anymore because daylight saving time happened again. Martin, I remember on Matt Perman, on Island made something that needed iron. With NFTs, it's all possible. Hold on. What what do you mean there, Martin? Pyramid 
Yeah, you're talking about Berman. I think I understand what you mean. And yeah, probably. So, Perriman made steel for blue steel, right? Back then when we had Land Rush, there was some towns that were surrounded by four rivers. I do remember doing one of those competitions where I, I had four rivers. If you're wondering how that works, is you have to use a trade pier or a, a freight pier or a dragon because the dragon can sell next to the river. Let's see as I'm doing in this case. So it was possible to have a biome with four rivers. So the other thing is, how do you make iron when you have four rivers? You don't. You can't make iron, chromium, or limestone. But back then, or now still, there's a silent right NFT that gives you one passive iron for the epic one, two passive iron for the legendary one. If you have five legendary silent rides, you can do steel without needing to make iron. I know for sure Paramin can do that. Probably Nacho. There's a maybe a handful of people who can do that. That's what he was talking about. Rachel says can't play this week. Too busy. I'm glad it's bicycles. Okay. Um, you're probably saying you're glad it's bicycles because it's pretty top right, and I agree. Bicycles is not that easy, guys. In my opinion, it is not easy. A, a lot of people love doing blue steel, and even back then, I, I feel like some people struggle with blue steel because it's one of the top tier crafts. Bicycle is much harder than just making blue steel. It is not an easy thing to make, in my opinion. It's one of the more difficult ones. It's probably more difficult than Golden Heart Necklaces. If you don't agree, let me know, but I think it is more difficult than Golden Heart Necklaces. Silent says, Cream bought so many NFT, or so many left unassembled. I wonder if new ones will still earn 100 or if there will be some trickery there like creep up version 2 or something. I, I I don't know for sure, Salad. I'm pretty sure they'll just, they'll still be crane bots that work the same. But uh, hey, that's, that's speculation. Uh, Martin says, yeah, I, I saw some react on Volcron that earnings are back in quarter two. <laughs> yeah, that starts April 1st. We'll see what that's about. <laughs> yeah. No problem, Daisy. I hope it comes, but then again, in game. Well, yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. Uh, when does this test comp usually go live now again? The test competitions go live after they push out the update, which can either be an hour after the competition ends or like 10 hours after the competition ends or anywhere in between. Usually it's a couple hours after the competition ends. Martin, you spoke about four mountains, so I said pyramid and an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Stack box. Okay. Uh, Benji, it's easier to steal them than to make. What do you mean? The crane bots? I was kind of confused with what you meant there. You mean the crane bots? Well. How are you guys doing in the competition? We're making top 1200 out of what 1700? <laughs> How many? I don't think I'm gonna find my answer, but I'm gonna assume it's like around 1700, okay? Okay, it's around 1700. Um, is that right? Sugar Pie, did you go offline for some reason? Why am I at top 10? Pretty sure this dude's offline. He's gonna come in and log in in the, in the last 15 minutes. He's just giving me false hope. How dare you, Sugar Pie? How dare you give me false hope on top 10? I'm fine either way. Um, but that, that's kind of strange that I, I saw that on 10th place. Uh, I didn't have that. I was behind. Actually, he hasn't sold anything. Yeah, he's out. He has to be offline mode. I swear his points just updated, though. He's probably got like uh, 200 golden heart necklaces just stacked up. That's interesting. 
Kupuka, did they say exact day when play to earn comes live? I try to listen very closely. No, Tupuka. I don't think they'll ever give exact days anymore. Even if they do, it's not gonna happen on that exact day. Um, they said mid-April, in case you were wondering, which is very soon. Like uh less than a month. We're in about a month, right? Um, I'm happy to hear that. Uh the way they talked about how to implement it, I am happy. I understand that it's not what people expected though. I think people expected something very easy. Or they expected that uh, they'd be able to complete the daily challenge on their casual town or their current town in common ground or their competition town. Um, so what this is going to do is we got people who only play the competitions, right? Or I, I assume they also practice on casual. They're, if they want to get their share of the daily reward, which will be the dirt for now until the new token comes out, they will have to go out of their way Go to the events tab, start a, a new town for the uh, uh, daily challenge only, a daily challenge specific town. Complete the daily challenge, then they'll get the reward. Then they can go back to casual to keep practicing or go back to running the competition. Or maybe they're running the competition offline, so they'll just fast forward later whenever they want to, right? Um, it's not going to be just log in, complete the challenge in a couple minutes, and then you're done. Because you probably already had a town set up making four different crafts to fulfill the different challenges. So it's going to be uh, a little bit more complicated, which is a good thing also because only the people who actually play the game will get rewarded. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it has its pros and its cons. I, I think it's a, it's a cool idea if they will end up doing it like that. Yoan says, I think I'm on my way to my first top 100 ever, but not sure. I'm like 75. Ooh, that's very good. Um, you can celebrate once you actually end top 100 in an hour. So, but uh, I hope so, Yoan. I, I hope you make it to top 100. Benji, I have error when I try C star rank. It doesn't show mine. I just go till it reaches rank one page. Sometimes that happens to me. Got Oat Town, Planet Bob, and me repping the top 10. You're on 10 for me now, I see. Not sure how long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, but seeing you speak about something now, come in online and check. Yeah. I'll talk about this new NFC a bit. Because uh, I know there's some people who are interested to see what I think about the NFTs. Um, so this new one, what is it? Electric Arc? I'm trying to pull it up here. Electric Arc. Electric Arc Furnace. So you can make blue steel and red steel. Don't need water drums and you need half the energy. I can tell you now that uh, top players, they have a diamond water pump. They got the diamond charge station. Water drums and energy isn't that much of a problem for the top players. This is an NFT that uh, I don't see very many people picking up except some of the top players because they're able to get by with one less steel, which means they need 20% less steel overall, assuming they can make enough blue steel or red steel. Um, with uh, this, this NFT would be more helpful if the meta was only blue steel or red steel but since this next mod is bicycles you're not just dealing with blue steel you're dealing with a lot of other items so the utility is not as huge this utility is also meta specific i'm not a big fan of meta specific nfts i'm personally not gonna get this not interested in it the um, it, it's not gonna have much demand in my opinion, for this one. Now, if this NFT, if they made it to where it crafted steel. Sorry, I got confused because I, I noticed they're using the legendary emoji, but it's an epic NFT. Um, back to what I, I was saying, if they made this NFT, make it so that they could craft steel, that would be huge. That would probably make it legendary or ancient. 
Because then the top players can do Steel Rush. And therefore, maybe rush to blue steel uh, or red steel or i guess red steel rush would be possible if you have three valentine stands right so yeah people could do steel rush and then red steel rush red steel rush would probably be a ton of money it'd be the new meta for the top people in terms of cash rush but the 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 nft doesn't do that they, they still need to build their steel mills to make steel and then they can make the the blue steel or red steel with this but yeah that would have made a huge difference could have been way more powerful. Yeah, it would also be easier to make a nuke, Martin. Yeah, hello. I use a design I hadn't practiced before competition, but top 225 possible. Very nice. Wow, even without practice, you pretty much winged it. I mean, you had the design in mind, so that's good. I've done a blue steel uh, meta before. I'm gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna find it on YouTube here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find it on YouTube so we can take a look at it again. I know some people, they'll go back to the video and watch it, right? And it should be the same recipe. And uh, I mean, I also, I'm pretty sure I recorded where I had a video on the bicycle competition that I did. At the time, I didn't have as many NFTs as I do now, so it would be a completely different build for me. I should probably get a fancy water bottle. I always drink uh, just from plastic water bottles. Even when I go out, I just bring my plastic water bottle. I used to have like a steel water bottle, you know, like keep the water cool. Actually, I still do. I just don't really use it. Okay, looking for my bicycle build. Damn, this was a year ago? Yeah, that's about right. I think it was uh, end of 2022 when we did bicycles. Wow. It was a year ago. We were still doing the land rush. Do I actually have a bicycle build? Did I ever make one? Oh, I was using ornaments. I remember it wasn't. It wasn't a no NFT build. I don't even call them that anymore. I call them NNR or no NFT required build. So yeah, at the time that was a no NFT required build. I was using a full set of ornaments, which actually did impact the production rates because at the time there was a, a bonus for having the full set of enchanted ornaments. There was like a 50% movement speed bonus. Uh, Ivis says, yes, you did. I'm looking at it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to look for it because it, it, it's not no NFTs. I was using ornaments, which, uh, I mean, there was many people who didn't have the full set of ornaments. Anyways, let me pull it up. Information. Uh, My camera quality is much better now compared to this video <laughs> um that, that's not the point though let's see all right uh, i don't know where to where to is i'm just gonna put it up. okay that's fine there's a there's one of me behind me right there. All right, um, blue seal. 
December 2022. Okay, the biome we are getting... Here's the problem. You're gonna have the mountains across from each other. Cause... well... Maybe. You're gonna need a lot of mines. Cause you gotta make iron. For the steel, you gotta make chromium and limestone for the lights. You're gonna have two mountains, which is good. But you're gonna have a river. You cannot have mines next to the river. They'll be flooded. That'll reduce the craft time. Which means you could have 11 mines that are in the clear. If you need more than that, you can have 11 mines on the other side. That will also be good. You could also build shallow mines, which are slower, but you'll be able to take advantage of the corner. You know, having your power set up, passive energy for your 11 mines next to the mountain, passive energy for your shallow mines. So you could do that. Yeah, the river will kind of limit you for your mines. The other thing is, since you're going to have two mountains across from each other, you're going to need your trees right in the middle of, them, of both of them. Which is doable, but pretty tricky. Oh yeah, yeah, the competition build too, Ibis, yeah. <laughs> Lots of NFCs. I have way more now. <laughs> Snow globe with two mountains? M maybe. I, I don't remember. An iron mine and one water is as good as a shallow mine. That's a good point, Ibis. I suppose one water in your mine is fine. Okay, that, that would be okay. Luna, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm not able to tune in on time, so I missed a lot of information. Will there be an oil seep for the coming meta? Yes, we are getting an oil seep again for the upcoming competition, which will help out for this competition because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Which is quite a surprise because I think this is the first time and maybe forever, I don't know, that they, they've given us... Uh, two competitions with an oil seep in a row. They, they didn't say they were going to do that at first. They said they were going to alternate. The oil seep is close to the water, says Tatuis. That is also a bit problematic. But, I mean, just have it face away from that middle section. You should be able to do that just fine. You can work with that. Yeah. It'll be close to the river and mountain edge, but you can work with that. Oh, I was, I was looking at the, the Discord this while I was trying to think of that. Because, like, imagine the river would be on the left side over here. You could have your... Oh, I don't think you can even see my mouse. Oh, you can. You you would have the, the gas in that corner. Gas set up to take advantage of the oil seat. You're welcome. Charmod, hello. I am, thank you. So on this one that I did a year ago, notice how I had five nukes. That's a lot of money and a lot of wages too. The, the enchanted ornaments helped out because it reduced the wages a lot. I don't know if it's going to be viable to have five nukes. Not sure. Depends on the bicycle rate. I don't remember the trade time on this either. Trade time we had here.
Yeah, so you, you wouldn't be able to do this exact setup. Just because of the new biome we're getting. And they do that on purpose, right? So we don't do the exact same thing. Which I, I don't think most people would. Because um, if any of you guys did bicycles in the end of 2022, you more than likely have more NFTs now that will help you and you can't do the same build. I, I really don't think a anybody here that played this competition has not gotten like a single additional NFT to help them out. Unless they take like a year break. I guess it's possible, but I, I, I don't think so. Interesting. I didn't even have a river connecting the middle here. A river. A road. Didn't have any roads in the industrial area here, but I did have a road at the bottom over here. You probably won't need that much silica in the end. You only need to make enough for the molten glass for the lights. But since silica is cash boosted, I mean, that'd be a good idea to sell it for cash. Your water facilities, you're going to want to have them next to your crops, like I do here. But remember that your crops are going to be closer to the middle, since you're going to have two mountains across from each other. So crops around here, water facilities surrounding them, or maybe at the bottom, since you got your passive water there. But I, I say that because the water facilities don't cast any shade. Uh, you got your clay lumps too. I guess you could also surround the crops with the beehives and the the uh, wild clover. I, I always get those confused. Wild clover? Clover field. It used to be called wild clover. I'm pretty sure at the time it was called wild clover. I didn't know NFT last time. Sweet. But are you going to do it again? You had zero NFTs then? Oh, okay. I'll pull up what I did for the competition that, uh, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pull up what I did for the competition at the time. Jeez, why is the quality like so much worse? I think it's the way I, I re recorded this. I, I don't remember. The lighting was horrible too. This was my own competition build for bicycles at that time. Um, I had the two legendary water towers, which I, I mean, I have a legendary and an epic now. It's all, it's almost the same. I had the, the I had the haunted zones for the whole honey setup. Well, uh, honey, honeycomb, everything you need for mystic matter. Legendary style and ride. For passive iron for the steel. Oh, Wheat Sand helps out too, because you're going to need to make wool for the uniforms. That's right. So Wheat Sand helps with that. This brings back memories, yeah. All these builds that if you told me I made, I wouldn't remember until... I, I guess until I take a good look at them. Wow. <laughs> these are my memories. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but feel free to look at that if that gives you any ideas to help you out with your blue steel build. 
Um, so question is, should I make a no NFT build? A lot of people will say yes. I was thinking that this week I was going to do a uh, another of those competitions for the no NFT build. Although I didn't realize that this is, it was going to be something that we've done before. We've done bicycles before. Most new people probably haven't, but I mean, I, I was thinking of doing a no NFT build competition. And what I mean by that is I will have people who want to participate, submit a design for no NFTs uh, to me. I will randomly select a winner. It will be random this time the, and their build will get showcased. I mean, as long as it's a valid entry, which means that it's not like the exact, well, it can't be the exact same as the one I made. Uh, as long as it does decent, at least, then it will qualify as a valid entry. I'll be able to tell. I mean, I have uh, multiple people submitting their designs. I can tell if a decent one does like eight or 10 blue steel per hour and a not good one sorry to say that but if a not good one does like three blue steel three bicycles per hour i can tell but uh yeah the idea is i would have people submit their their design it has to be tested that's the work and at the end i'd randomly select the winner i would replicate their town to confirm and use that for the build showcase uh, and there would be other prizes. There, there wouldn't just be. Uh, there would be a main prize for the person who gets their build selected. But there would be other prizes. I was thinking of also just giving a town hall to, to anybody who participated, anybody who entered a valid design. They just get a town hall. Maybe they already have one. Uh, then it's optional, I guess. Do they want another one? They could take another one. It's fine. If they want another town hall, they could give it to their friends. You want to know NFT build. Benji. <laughs> Michael M, what is your bicycle forecast rate 20 per hour? Well, when I did the competition, all those NFTs were getting me like 18 per hour. According to the production monitor I had there. I, I don't know why it's so blurry. Uh, it looks like I was getting 18 per hour, which doesn't make sense because I was getting like 17.7 blue steel per hour. Uh, but yeah, I was making 18 per hour. So 20 per hour, Michael M. That's a lot for bicycles. I, don't uh, underestimate it. It's hard. No NFT. I believe a good no NFT build would do 10 per hour. Also, th this competition, we did it with the, the buffs. If you had the full set of enchanted ornaments, that's not a thing anymore. Those extra 50% movement speed buffs. If you played the Town Star when the Enchanted Ornaments came out, you know what I'm talking about. If, you, if you've if you never heard of that, it was a temporary buff. It was a temporary incentive to get people to buy and have the full set of Enchanted Ornaments. Bikes are rough, stuck in the stack box. Possibly, I mean... I would even say they might be harder than Sushi Boats maybe but yeah the bi bicycles are a tough uh craft to make uh i mean michael I'm, I, I don't know if you were asking me with nfts without nfts but if you can aim for 10 per hour that would be great given the biome we're given it should be possible you have a uh, nfts of course it depends <laughs> it, it's hard to give you a number there the, the academy back then. I... Well, Martin, I don't think we had the academy for this bicycle competition at the end of 2022. I don't remember the academy being on game at the time. The academy was available shortly after that, I think. Shortly after that. Somewhere early 2023, I think. Oh, sushi boats are easy? Okay. But definitely harder than sushi boats, says Rachel. All right.
Pardon you, I mean it, remember the boofs? <laughs> the boofs. Didn't you say sweet buffs? Yeah, um... With the research center? Maybe, yeah, okay, Martin, you might be right. There might have been the the research center and the speed buffs for that competition. I, I can't quite remember. Um, I, I would have mentioned it on the video for sure. So if I mentioned it on the video, then for sure there was a research center for that competition. Because you could just craft the buffs in the research center and then get rid of it. Yeah, that, that was a thing back then, in case some of you are wondering. Uh, John Mod say, what NFTs do you think is are the best to buy right now? In terms of utility, I would still say Miranda skins, enchanted ornaments. Can't go wrong with those. Hatchet Hank Jr. Unfortunately, it's like going to be more expensive now. I still really like having a great sawmill. Some people say they, they love having the epic refinery or even the rare refinery. I don't have those just because I rely on my dragon, which that's also another amazing one to have. It's just on the more expensive side of things. There's a lot of effect cards that would be good, but the best effect card is the Great Woodlands to reduce the craft time of trees. But there, there are a lot of really good ones there. You miss the portal? Martin? I don't miss the portal. See, if the portal was in game, I would probably have a bigger advantage. Because the portal benefits those who can make more cash. It would give more utility to the oopsie and the giant Christmas tree NFTs, that's true. Um, but also, I, w one thing that I didn't like about the portal is that it screwed players over, and I don't like seeing that. Because it discourages people. When they are doing really good, they build the corrupted portal, it takes their money, gives them stars, and then they run out of money and they bankrupt one or two days before the competition ends and they just completely screwed themselves over because of a game mechanic. Sure, it's, it's a skill issue, but better we just don't even have the corrupted portal. I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of it. The research center was completely fine and I know they're bringing that back. That, that's fine. Because I, I don't believe that you can completely screw yourself over with that. Uh, he asked me the my necklaces. Uh, Tushar, Chopra, how many necklaces per hour? I'm making 305 golden heart necklaces per hour with this design right here. Thunderla, do you think they will have nodes done by the end of quarter one? Well, that's like in a week, Thunderla. I'm surprised nobody asked that question again this town hall. Um, no, I don't think so, Sandula. But if I'm being honest, uh, I'm sure they're working on it, but I just don't think so. I I'm assuming you're talking about like the NFT nodes for the guild system that's coming up. I, I know that's what they said they were gonna do: have it ready by the end of February and then ready by the end of quarter one. It, I mean, they're delaying the, the guild system by another two weeks. That would be somewhere around mid-April. Which they also want daily challenges to come out at the same time. That's a lot. It would be great to see all that stuff come in at once, but it's a lot. And I would expect there to also be bugs involved that they're going to have to spend time fixing. Also, when people start selling the uh, Common Ground World NFTs that they don't want anymore, uh, I do want to buy one from someone. I hope they're not overpriced. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sandula says, yes, the NFT nodes. I don't think so either. Yeah. I would be willing to buy at least one to, you know, actually be able to create a group in the guild. And it's going to be multiple groups by the sounds of it. If they're only going to allow us uh, a certain number of players in our guild nodes, basically. Also, I need to review some applications for the duck. That's right. I need to remember to do that. John Mard, oh, I hate buying on Ethereum, though. I don't mind paying for NFTs, but gas fees, nothing scares me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
and most of the Miranda skins and enchanted ornaments are on Ethereum. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I know. It's going to be, eventually it's just going to be too expensive to pick those up. What do you mean, Martin? You have a common ground world node? Do you? I think you would have mentioned it. Uh, Delipa, how me, uh, how the people move so fast? My workers? I have a lot of movement speed bonuses to my workers, especially when it comes to jewelry. These earrings? Make my forgers, forge workers, and I think the foundry workers move faster. I forget if it works on the foundry workers. This makes everything move faster. The medieval tavern, it just came out. Miranda skins makes everyone move faster. Right there. And... Uh, Town Hall doesn't really help with that. Not in this scenario. Can't remember what else made stuff move faster. Oh, the Hatch Hank and the Hatch Hank Juniors. There we go. Yeah, this makes the loggers move faster. Yeah, yeah, that's why they move. Ooh, they move so fast. So there's a lot of workers that move like crazy fast here. It looks like I'm playing in like double or triple speed or something. But it's just from all the buffs. And I also have effect cards that help stuff move faster. Oh yeah, yeah, the node. The common ground world node, as they're going to call it. Which is going to come from people who have town star node. Yeah. No, I, I have a... I have a lot of town halls that I do want to give away. And I have a giveaway running on my Discord right now for 10 of them. I want to do more than that. Um... I'm not exactly sure how yet. And I also have to think about, is it even a good idea to give away that many town halls? What do you guys think? Should I just give them away? I'm completely fine giving them away. I mean, with the whole rebate thing, they were basically free. Rachel, I really wish they focus on daily earnings before trying to do all the other stuff. Yeah, I, I think that would have been better. Do daily earnings, and then you can focus on guilds, which seems to be taking a long time. It's a brand new concept. And the only reason they... Well, maybe not the only reason. One of the reasons they want to do it is to give nodes utility. So that they can eventually down the line sell more nodes, but also make the current node owners happier, at least, that it, their node does something for utility in the game. And also to provide a, a whole new guild system. The guild system sounds great. I think that'll, that'll help out. And they mentioned the rewards are like upgradable materials, which will be used to upgrade NFTs later. And I remember them mentioning that they want to make them tradable on Gala Chain, which is great. It's going to start uh, an in-game economy and allow people to potentially make a profit by selling these materials to other players. It'll generate value. Uh, Jarmod is asking, do you know what the Common Ground Academy does? I see the composting facility cut a few seconds from trees, but no idea what the academy does. Right now, it doesn't do anything. But it is intended to work like a, a research system in the game. But they did say that you're going to have to pay a certain amount of dirt or whatever the new token is that we'll be earning in order to activate buffs on the research center or the common ground world academy, whatever it's called. But right now it doesn't do anything. Gemma is slow. 
Hi, I just finished reinstalling Windows and the Gala web application was deleted. How do I get it back to install? Can anyone help me? Gala web application. Here's what I do. I go to the website on my browser and you, you make sure that you're going to the right website. You don't want to Google it because there are fake uh, websites out there. You want to go to the exact website, which would be. I know what it is. I want to double check because I don't want to say it wrong on the I can also type it on the chat. I have a link to the correct website in the description of the video, okay? It's it's utilizing my affiliate link, but that is the correct link. Because we used to use a specific website, but now it points us to the new one. Okay, so the website is games.gala.com. From there, I would favorite it. You could also favorite my affiliate link in the description of the video it, um that helps support my channel if you do decide to purchase anything from the gala game store so i appreciate that if any of you decide to do that i really appreciate it uh but yeah you you would want to go to the correct website games.gala.com from there favorite it and i think you can make there's a button that should allow you to install a web application for it i have never done that but you could you could do that. I think I've seen some people mention that they do that. But just don't go logging into the wrong website. I don't want to see anybody do that. Delepa, how do you make silver jump rings? How do I make them? Or how, how do you just make them in general? I do have all the craft information for this stuff on the Town Star playbook, which that is linked in the description. Ah. So you would make them either at a jewelry crafting table or at the foundry. See, so we're jumping. I make mine at the foundries because it's easier for me because I have passive silica from this corrupted silica sand, which is uh, a valuable enough to you, let's say that. So it, it makes it more convenient for me to just make the silver jump rings at the foundries. Because it skips a step. This skips me from needing a bunch of wire mills to craft s uh, silver wire and then turn them into silver jump rings with a bunch more Trinity, uh, I mean, jewelry crafting tables. It, it skips that. It's way more convenient to do it this way, but of course it's more NFT heavy. That's how I make them. And that's, that's how they're made. Hopefully that helps you out. All right, so I'm still deciding. Should I run a no NFT event for this competition? See who can come up with a good build and I'll pick a winner to showcase their build. I am going to pick a random person. So I'm not going to start working on their build until I can. Uh, until the whole event is over. No, and I don't accept any more entries. I want to give an additional prize to whoever has the highest production rate for no NFTs. Um, I will accept the problem is that there's people with enchanted ornaments, right? I will accept uh, enchanted ornaments. It does impact your production rate. That's the thing. It actually makes the, the crafting time of the wizards workshops half it halves it so 50 percent reduction so it does impact production rate that is the thing other than that it would be no nfts required so it's i mean it's kind of hard because people can't turn those nfts off i mean i i can't turn them off i i don't turn off the enchanted ornaments but yeah other than that I, I, people would submit a design for no NFTs for bicycles. I might do another one for my guild. I've done them in the past um, just to get people to 
to share ideas and, and I'll do a reward for that as well. It's been a while since I've actually done one for my guild. I do want to do that. But yeah, idea is anybody who has a valid entry, you qualify for a town hall. I'll give it to you for free. That's fine. And if you want it, I'm not going to force you to have it so if you want it. But uh, yeah, the, the randomly selected winner who gets their build showcase, gets a, a good prize. Top production rate gets a good prize. Uh, then there might be other random prizes, kind of like I did last time. Uh, well, last time it was pretty much just gala prizes. I paid out people in gala. I can include an NFT there somewhere. Uh, Moranus is not live. They're going to do a playtest pretty soon. Well, they say pretty soon. Maybe it'll be like in a month or two. I, I would imagine they'll do it for May Mayhem. Because uh, the, the new playtest will give... will start giving Materium. Gion, hello? Would you recommend me to play Mirandus to get the Dragon Voucher Express? Oh, you don't actually get the Dragon Voucher Express from playing Mirandus. That was sold as a pack for this game, Soundstar, which is now known as Common Ground World, uh, like two or three years ago, maybe. So really, the only way to get it is from the secondary market, OpenSea or NFTHarbor.io, which is a market on Gala Chain. How to participate in the no NFT event. I'll make a post on it on my Discord. And this is how I did it last time. You would just send me a direct message telling me, hey, this is my entry for the events. Uh, I would need a, a screenshot of your build, uh, a screenshot of your production monitor. That They could be the same screenshot. People were sending me just what I whatever I have on my screen. You can see the build. You can see the production monitor. That's fine. Uh, um, I need to see your bicycle production rate. Actually, you would have to send me multiple screenshots. I need to see your whole production monitor. I, I need to see the whole thing. So it would be multiple screenshots of the production monitor. Um, most importantly, your bicycle production rates. And as long, I mean, it has to make sense. Oh, and the production monitor needs to run for at least two hours. I I'll write down all the, the, the necessary details on Discord. Um, I mean, for the last one, that six people enter a design, which is pretty good. And I, I want there to be more rewards for this. And I'm not going to do this all the time. At least not, that's not the plan right now. But I, I do want to do it every once in a while. I would love to give away another green forge like I've done in the past, but I, I only have 10 green forges. If I give away another one, I, I would have to buy it off somebody to give it away because I do not want to give away my own. <laughs> maybe after the green forge sale happens, maybe I can give more of those away. Uh, will it have mayhem for Townstar this year? Uh, Vendreth, they did confirm that there will be May mayhem for Common Ground World this year. It is confirmed, we just don't know what that consists of. Yeah, there, there will be May Mayhem. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I should say I'm sure. Yeah, there would be. Why wouldn't there be? The Town Hall, Sandula? Oh, yeah, it ended already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the whole time change, I, I mean, it happens two hours before the competition ends now. <laughs> Thank you, Hedel. Uh, it works well, huh? Uh, Hedo Ro Robello, I stayed up all night before the competition started to work on this. I only had like four hours of sleep before the competition started. I, I stayed up all night trying to, to come up with this design. That's how dedicated I was to this one. And uh, most top players, if not all of them, will spend all weekend. Although I, I do spend time and, and I do like spending time on the no NFT builds to help people out. And really, I, I need to make more uh, other stuff too. Other stuff in the plans. I know people want like a top 20 NFT video, which I, I could just 
tell you a list of the top 20 NFTs, but it would be cooler in a video. I, I know that. <laughs> no problem, Vendra. Uh, Sandula, I thought they will push back the time since they usually do it an hour before comp ends. I think it'll just stay like this, Sandula. The, the same schedule they have. This is how it used to happen before the daylight saving time in November. Edo says, I gave up. I found it very difficult and I don't have time to dedicate myself. Yeah, I mean, this is a game where you want to practice and spend time and learn everything. The NFTs help a bunch, don't get me wrong, they help save time. If you were a no NFT player, you probably would need, you definitely would need more than a day to come up with your design. It could be done in two days though. Gala Gaming, what's up? Let's hope it won't be last year. Last May Mayhem was two years ago. Yeah, uh, last year's May Mayhem was bad. I agree. And I, I missed out on the very first one. <laughs> All those nights not sleeping last year. For the top players, uh, yeah, I suppose so, huh? I mean, when you have that much money on the line, like, let look, let's take a look again. I've shown this before, but let's take a look again at what the prizes look like in 2022 of May because I have this information on the Townstar playbook. It's based off the official information. In May of 2022, there was four competitions where first place would get $15,000 worth of Gala. Top 2,000 would get $50. Pretty good for top 2,000. Additionally, there would be specific random ranks that would get an additional amount of money. It, this changed from competition to competition, as you can see right here. Bonus reward. Could be 5,000 extra, could be 10,000 extra. And the, at the time, that's freaking amazing. Some people were excited for this. This is a lot of money for the competition. But yeah, this was uh, also the competitions were different lengths. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And this one was six and a half days long. Yeah, but the prizes for May Mayhem 2022 in Town Star were amazing. And at the time, I wasn't that good at the game. I didn't have that many NFTs. I won $150 each of these four weeks. So that was 600. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the bonus prizes, but I was very happy with that. And I continue to learn the game. Um, considering I, I didn't have that much experience, I, I, I was happy with that. These were actually maybe the first competitions I ever did for this game. And I started playing this uh, in the end of 2021, but whenever I started playing it, I didn't immediately jump into the competitions. 15k is a lot, yes. And then after that, they started doing NFT rewards, which the first one... Yeah, the very first one for the, the windmills is uh pretty valuable now that and the great woman's ghost card which happened in december which i knew it was going to be valuable i told people this is probably one of the best nfts they're going to give us for the competition the one that reduces the crowd time of your trees it is valuable Kelly Gaming says, love that random ranks prices. They should have included them in each competition, not only in Mayhem. That would be nice, yeah. I've mentioned this before, like, it would be cool if every time they came out with the new NFT, they would give one or a few of them away to random ranks in the competition. I... I assume it might be a legal issue and that's why they can't do it. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But that would be a really good idea. That way, literally anybody would have a shot at getting the new NFTs. Just for placing the competition, it would be random. Maybe you'd have more cheaters, but uh, hopefully you'd want to disqualify the cheaters, right? The tweet says people stopping sales to drop Hank was brilliant and crazy at the same time. 
people stopping sales to drop. What do you mean, the tweets? I, I I misunderstood your 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 thing. Did he uh, fast forward this time? He did. There we go. Sugar pie fast forwarded. Um, it's it's cool. Cool. Completely understand him. I will end at eleventh place. The like I said, the the prize from ten to top twenty five isn't that big of a difference. It's a thousand gala, which th I I understand. Some people a thousand gala is a lot, right? Um, I usually get seven thousand or eleven thousand gala from these competitions, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, especially with the price of gala, and hopefully it continues to increase. Right? Um, I have a lot of NFTs here that were also expensive, right? Or some some of those are worth more than what I bought them for now. <laughs> Roger says random raffle for uh, NFT would be awesome. Maybe for the top 1200 to make sure they're real players. Yeah, they. I mean, they would still probably have to um, win in the competition, right? But I think that would be awesome. It's an idea I've suggested to the team before. And like for the, the uh, no NFT event I want to do, to get people to, you know, share their designs and practice without NFTs and help people out who don't have NFTs. Um, I, I would want to randomly pick a winner, randomly pick winners. I, I It's so hard for me to pick which build I want to showcase because I'm like, damn, they, they all did such a good job. I would showcase them all. I can't actually build them all myself. I won't have time to build them all. Uh, I had time to build two or three of them, even though I'm, I'm just replicating them. But yeah, because I got to build them and test them out. At least the one I'm going to showcase to make sure that it actually works. It's also easier for me to do the build showcase whenever I have the build right here instead of relying on pictures or a video that they send me. So yeah, it's so hard picking a winner when they're all good or when I think they're all good. So I'd rather just do random winners. I could also do a vote, show people, I'd still have to pick like the top three, right? And then people would vote on one. But uh, that can be kind of abused. Voting systems can be abused. You can have one of the potential top winners make like a bunch of accounts and just vote for themselves. I don't want that to be an issue either. The tweet says when we had those special ranks, like the 876 prize wins 2000 gala. Yeah. I see what you mean, the tweets. Um, yeah, I, I think I, I, I see what you mean. Um, you would have a bunch of people stop selling stuff to try to hit that exact rank. And um, for the example that you gave, 876, is that one of the ranks? It's not one of the ranks, but um, for the example that you gave to Tweez, let's say r rank five. Okay, no, let's say a rank two thousand. Let's go with this example. Rank two thousand for the competition in May, the third week of May in two thousand twenty-two. Gave five thousand dollars. You'd have a lot of people at rank a thousand. 2200 and 1800 have almost the exact same score almost the exact same score like you could be in rank 2200 make a sale and then immediately jump to 1700 because all those people had almost the same score because they were all trying to get that exact rank to hit the five thousand dollar bonus i do remember that and even myself i tried to do that with some of these i can't remember which ones i was going for maybe i was going for like rank 1500 or rank 1250 because i i remember only winning the 150 dollar prizes on each week um so yeah i was probably going for the 1500 ranks and yeah there's just so many people with the same amount of score i'm like heck no this can't be done but at least i gave it a shot
It was fun. It was really fun doing that. Homeboy Gaming, what's up? And thank you. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, better than I expected. And I'm completely fine with 11th place. Yeah, I was expecting like maybe 20th to 15th. I don't know. I, I tend to say that. Um, then again, my original expectation was for 275 golden heart necklaces per hour. I happened to push it to 305 while I was doing the build. It mostly accidental, but that's cool. Uh, Hadel, I don't do gas production because I use this NFT, the Green Dragon Express. Sells 25 items at a time. Does not use gas. So no gas production. People often ask me that question and I, I understand the confusion. I, I mean, it's a really good NFT to have. It saves a lot of space. Gas production is like an essential part of the game. Ah, oh, Martin dropping from top 400. Uh, Gala Gaming on next one, maybe showcase five of them and let the community vote for which would be best by images only. Okay, I mean, I like the idea Gala Gaming. Like I mentioned, voting systems can be abused, but I can give it a shot and see how it works. I, I like the idea though. Yeah, I do. So I, I will consider it. I, I might actually do it. I, I, it's worth a shot. It's worth a try actually doing that. I mean, I would still have to pick like what I think are the top five, right? And people tend to pick the one with the highest production rates. Or if it's a person that they know. And, um... But yeah, basically. If it's somebody, okay, like, let's say it's somebody in the dub guild, right? And they, they got, I'm showcasing them in the top five, vote for one. They might vote for the person in the dub guild. At least I think so. I might be wrong, right? I could also just not show their names, but come on. Somebody will know. Somebody will be like, hey, that's my build. Oh, that is, I'll vote for you, you know? But I could try something like that. Oh boy, I'm hanging around 21 now. Uh, hopefully I should hold. Yeah, you should be good. I mean, competition ends in 10 minutes. I, our rank should be secured by now. Okay, uh, it lagged a bit. Yeah, I think Guillermo is holding his round to 25 also. Hopefully he does. That'd be huge. Yeah, I see you at 21. Salad 91 to 113 today, not a bad drop. So disappointed that outside top 100, totally expected though. Yeah, it would have been real nice, huh? <laughs> well, oh, um, let me take a look at the roadmap for the upcoming competitions also. I was going to do this on Tuesday. I, I totally forgot. Where is it? the leaks that's the rebates where is oh so i i think the spring sale is supposed to have ended already i don't know if it's still going on but i think it's it's supposed to already have ended it's supposed to have ended like uh, at midnight the midnight that just happened. I don't know if they still have it, the stuff in the Galley Game Store. But uh, I, I just noticed that this morning there's it's still there. Martin, so if I understand right, cheaters filtered out I stay 401, they said. That's what they said. They apparently don't push people up higher, which sucks. The cheaters just screw people over even more. 
Oh, the roadmap. I was looking at the roadmap. Um, also, I, I forgot where it was mentioned exactly, but if you do the play every day, the reward for this month will be salmon storage. Oh, it's mentioned right here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's mentioned right there. Salmon storage. Which is cool, because for fishing metas, um, I mean, you're still going to need to build a seafood warehouse. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. You're still going to need to build a seafood warehouse. But, you know, salmon storage. Cool. Seafood warehouses are kind of annoying to build. Uh, anyways, we just did Golden Heart Necklace. Carmen Michelle might have posted a more up to date one. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure she did. Let me find it. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Yeah. Bicycle. That's the next one. Yeah, we know that. Um, the week after that, with we it's apparently a surprise. It's April Fool's week. What do you guys think? Because some of us were thinking it was Red Steel, but no, uh, she confirmed Red Steel is actually mid-April. So I don't think it's going to be Red Steel for April's Fools. Yeah. Then there's a food meta. That's probably going to be when the Bright Wind Cell happens. And switch cuts at the end of April. Not gonna worry too much about May, but I'm looking forward to the jewelry meta happening in May. I mean, uh, I'm assuming this stuff's gonna be part of May Mayhem, right? So ha having a jewelry meta part of May Mayhem, that's gonna be huge. They could also extend May Mayhem to three months like they did last year, which I, uh, I, I don't think that works very well, but okay. We'll see what they do. All right, but yeah, the competition ends in five minutes. Um, anybody have any questions or want to talk about anything specific? Because I think that might be it. Yeah, um, I, I don't think I'm going to do a no NFT build. I, I've decided I'm going to run the, the competition like I did last time. Have people submit a design and I will randomly pick one to showcase or build. The production rate, I mean, could be decent, could be amazing. Literally going to be a random pick. Eddie, slid from 50 to 52. Oof. That one hurts, Eddie. That one does hurt. Wonderful multiverse. Hello. What's your rank? I am rank 11. And I will end at 11th place. So I'll get in the top 25 prize bracket. And I will win... Was it 11? I will win 11,000 gala in top 25. Not sure why your message popped up multiple times, but yeah. Martin, if I can make another sale, I can be within 400. Else for a win, it's bouncy. Dang, you, you're, you were really close, huh? Congrats on top 25. Thank you. I knew I had it in the bag. Top 25 with with what I got for jewelry. Yeah, no problem. This is like the. Uh, Competitions that I can get top 25 in is the jewelry ones. Anything with windmills, I cannot. Um, and when the bright wind sale happens, I, I, I don't know how many I can get. Like one. <laughs> Maybe I can trade one of these for a bright wind. <laughs> these pot of golds. I have three in it. It's amazing for jewelry, but like, I'm not going to be using all three all the time. I feel like it would be better for me to either trade one or, oh, maybe even give one away. 
I, I just feel like I don't need three. I will keep two for sure. Even if I don't use two all the time, I will keep two. The, the third one? I think I can still get top 25 in jewelry metas without the third one. But then again, knowing that... uh, See, there's going to be a jewelry meta in May. For, for May Mayhem, I assume. All the jewelry stuff will help for that. So I don't know if I if I get rid of the third pot of gold and I potentially miss out on a bigger prize ring may mayhem. I don't know. I do not know. No, Benji, I'm gonna load it up after this and then uh, I'll, I'll stop streaming after I sell my my bottles and my ice. But uh, no, I, it's still gonna take a while, Benji. It'll probably take like a year. But why is it low? And thank you. Yeah, competition went well for me. I sacrificed sleep for it. <laughs> worth it. I think. <laughs> yeah, worth it. GG. Uh, Luna, I have Enchanted Ornament 7, but can't see it in my inventory. It's under Ethereum. Do I have to transfer it to Gala Chain? Uh, wondering why other inventory, which is under ETH, is available. Do you really have it in Ethereum? If you do, it should show up. It should. If you have it on Gala Chain Allowance, you need to click it on your inventory on your in the Gala Games website and fulfill allowance. You are going to have to enter your transfer code to do that. Uh, Two-factor authentication if you have that set up. But yeah, you will need to fulfill the allowance so it can be on Gala Chain and then you can use it. That might be the issue you're having, Luna. Um, but you say it's under Ethereum, so I'm a little confused. You should just be able to see it in the game. So under that, I would have destroyed a road and sold that 20 batch. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Martin, nope. Just dropped to even 404. Sad for that, but fun build for days. But you did well. There we have it. I'm gonna load this up. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I loaded it up yesterday. I just didn't sell everything. So I'm pretty sure it's full. Uh, a wise ass, is it possible? Wash out NFT get 600 rank? I, I assume you meant without NFTs to get top 600. I do believe it is possible. Yes, a wise. It is possible. With a good build, you can get top 600 without NFTs with the current player base. I assume he meant without NFT. Jarmod, also check your wallets. I mean, I have a few wallets and bought NFT into another wallet, not the Gala one. Oh, the gas to correct that for gas. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I almost stopped at 10, Sandela. Uh, that's incredible. I've done it before. I, I got top 10 in one of the jewelry matters. I just can't remember which one. Booyah says 176. Not bad. Nice. Very nice. This is the, the song, Martin. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh la 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 la. I, I kept seeing you like la la la. I wasn't exactly sure why. Yep. Honestly, I didn't even sleep that much uh, today. <laughs> like maybe four hours. But don't worry, I, I get plenty, plenty of sleep. I do. I'll sleep in tonight. I don't have any. I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. I usually have to wake up early um, Mondays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays for the competition. Friday because the competition one. Yeah. I was not singing that song. Then I like the other Oh La 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 from a dance song. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. Oh, uh, yeah, it shouldn't take that. Wajer 463 seems about right. Didn't make any major mistakes, but some were still made. Alright.
Seems all right. Top 600. I'm just checking Discord real quick. Watching number go up. Which number? Oh, this is uh, how my town's doing. So yeah, I still gotta clear these three or four lines. They're really expensive. I can afford to clear two tiles right now. Let me sell this stuff. Bottles that look like wine bottles, but they're called bottle. I always forget to check this mode, so Sandula. I mean, uh, it's not that important. Like, I'll check it, but like, uh, I'm not gonna prioritize checking this all the time. Like, it's just whenever I remember. They they confirmed that we're not gonna be able to do daily challenges here. Like, originally there was an idea of there being easier to do daily challenges on this. That that way you can have a town set up that would knock out a lot of them. But they, they confirmed that's not going to be the case because they want there to be a brand new town for each daily challenge that you do. So you'd have to, you know, find a way to quickly do it with a brand new town. You can't just plan it in advance. It would be like a challenge mode, which I like that. But yeah, so so there's no reason to build this town up in, if for the sake of helping you do your daily challenges, if that's what you were doing. Which was part of the reason why I was doing this. I mean, I'll see if I can eventually clear this out. This is kind of like checking my Vox and Vox Odyssey. If any of you have a Vox, uh, you get resources from doing that, which will eventually should be helpful for when that game comes out, whenever that is. Um, it's just something that if I remember to do, I'll do. <laughs> but I'm not going to set an alarm like every 20 four hours or 12 hours be like oh it's time to check the town because it's about to get full uh not that concerned about it wonderful multiverse once the game is over how long did they take to distribute the rewards a very good question wonderful multiverse uh because i i see a lot of people ask this they wonder it takes them a little less than a week usually um They've been doing a good job of getting the rewards out by Monday or Tuesday. Usually it's on a Tuesday of the next week. So give it like five days. You should have the gala on gala chain reward on your gala wallet within the next week. And I mean, usually in the discord will be like, oh, hey, we all got paid. <laughs> we all got our payment. So you, you would know, you know, what, when it's time. You hear it from other people. John Mod, uh, all right, Dub. If I want to buy from the Galasaur, how do I make you get the commission? I don't see any box to put code in. It's not even a code system, and I appreciate you for asking and, and thinking of me, John Mod. Um, all you have to do is use the link in the description below. 
Um, there's different variations of the link, but la that link will work. And it it'll take you to the Gala Games website with uh, Common Ground World at the top so you can play it. But also at the bottom, it'll show stuff on sale. Uh, if you do decide to purchase something within that link, then I, I will receive some commission for it, which I appreciate that. Uh, does help me out, and I also want to use the funds to fund events and giveaways. Oh yeah, one, one more thing I wanted to talk about before I, I end. Um, the daily challenges. One thing I always wanted to do with the daily challenges, even back then, um, is... Okay, if, if the daily challenge is actually unique and it changes every day, a video showcasing how I did the daily challenge. But without NFTs, I assume it may take an hour or two to even accomplish that. So, I don't know if it's something I would be able to do every single day. But if I can get somebody to help me with that, we can start uh a series where we complete the daily challenge every day we show a video as soon as we can before the day ends to help people out to show them how we did it um I, at least the idea is without nfts but that kind of defeats the purpose if you do the daily challenge you're probably using nfts right nfts i give you rewards like a wheat stand so it depends Right, but I, I might have some kind of like video guides on how I, I did the daily challenges. Yeah, I'll probably use some NFTs. I mean, I understand not everyone's going to have the same NFTs, but you know, just to give people an idea on how to do the challenges. I really hope that whenever daily challenges comes back, it's not just dirt that you're getting for your NFTs that give you town points, but something else as well. Even if it's like uh, upgradable materials or something to use in the future. I'm assuming that you're only going to be able to win or earn dirt if you have reward NFTs, which are the NFTs that qualify for town points. So it's not something that you are going to do if you don't have any NFTs. You're, you're not going to be doing those daily challenges unless for some reason you think it's really fun. I mean, it probably is going to be a good way to learn the game but you're not going to earn anything from it other than experience. I mean, I do believe experience is important, but you're probably better off practicing your design for the competition in the casual server instead of doing daily challenges where you know you're not going to earn anything because you don't have the right qualifications for it. Um, and uh, like uh, they mentioned in the stream, I kind of get the feeling that they want to have NFTs that give you some kind of rewards for doing daily challenges. Maybe not town points, but some kind of, well, it would probably have to be town points. I don't know how they could do it, but I get the, uh, the feeling that they want to make more NFTs that give town points or something for daily challenges. Because they want more people doing the daily challenges and they know they, they could sell that. They could easily sell that. That's how they made uh, a lot of money, I guess. That's how they made a lot of sales back then. Um, sell NFTs with, that give town points. The more town points they give, the more expensive they were. They were really expensive. I get the feeling they want to do that, which sucks because they said they won't. They, they said they wouldn't do that. So if they end up doing that, they're going to piss people off. I know they are. We'll see what ends up happening with that. Can't say it's a good or bad thing for sure. Oh, I need a, I need a cream box. Uh, Wise asks, which I buy NFT, bro? 
the better game more. Although, I have a video, it's, I mean, it's a couple months old, but it's the top 10 NFTs that I have in the game. Miranda skins helps out a lot, which are, they consist of 10 different NFTs. One skin from each of the 10 packs. I have the links to all of them on the Townstar playbook if you want to check them out there. On the NFT skins and effects tab, just scroll all the way down. But those are the ones I would recommend, assuming you don't have them already. Even though we're getting an oil seep, I, I still recommend the NFTs that give you passive crude oil. It still lets you make a better design than, and not have to uh, rely on an oil seep. But you know, also when you don't have an oil seep, it saves you a lot of space. So NFTs that give you passive crude oil are amazing. That would be the, the Haunted Crypt, Graveyard, West and East Wings, Porch, and Tower. But the most popular ones are the Haunted Wings and the Porch. I can't clear any more tiles. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do the math, but... I need like... Uh, like 9, 10 billion, maybe? Uh, 10... No, not billion. Uh, that's too... Actually... No, that sounds about right. Uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't do the math. Uh, yeah, I need like 10 billion cash to clear this, and that, that'll take a long ass time. I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon. Okay, that'll be all for now. Uh, where the video link? Um, you're on my Discord? I'm going to share it on my Discord right now because I have to find it. But yeah, that'll be it. I'll share a uh, post on my Discord on the announcements for what the plan is for the little competition I want to make. And uh, also the notes I took for the town hall. And um, I'll probably wait for Farmer Michelle to post the official information for the competition. But yeah, that'll be it. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I hope the competition went well for you all. Uh, make sure to pass practice for bicycles because it's going to be a tough one. Uh, hopefully my older videos are able to help you out with that as well. As well as the, um, the, the build showcases that people will have for the no NFC builds. Um, and I'll spend some time working on my own personal build for this one, hopefully. But yeah, that's all I have. Uh, appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much for the support. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye.